It's budget season in Washington. The federal budget delivered annually by the president to Congress outlines where funding should be appropriated to all federal departments, agencies, and programs. It might sound like a big deal. Kind of a big deal. But this formality is almost always DOA. The federal budget is born out of a few complicated steps. First, the president submits proposed budget to Congress for every federal agency, department, and program, from the EPA to NASA to foreign aid. That proposal is sent to the House and Senate budget committees, where they interview administration officials about the president's priorities as they craft something called a budget resolution. Both the House and the Senate are supposed to eventually vote on the resolution on or around April 15th, but it doesn't go to the president for signature or veto. It's only meant to instruct Congress on spending and tax changes. That's why that initial budget request sent by the president sometime early in the year is commonly referred to as dead on arrival. Congress has no actual obligation to follow the president's direction just simply to consider it. The next part of the process, called appropriations, is where the real work begins. All 24 House and Senate appropriations subcommittees start work on determining exact funds for each department, agency, and program in the spring. The funding bills eventually head to the chamber floors and then the president's desk for signature or veto. And all that has to happen before October 1st, the start of the fiscal year. But of course, the dust may not even settle by that deadline. If Congress can't pass those appropriations bills, they'll kick the can down the road with a continuing resolution to fund agencies at current levels. Or if that fails, we get, drum roll please. You guessed it, another government shutdown. 